Welcome to Shimin. This is Shimin Exit 1. I'm going to walk you to your studio. Alright, so just a bit of information. This is Shimin Ding. It is a very bustling uh, hub for shopping, for eating, and for entertainment. So once you come out of Shimin Exit 1, you just come out and you turn around and you walk straight here. So you come out and you walk up here. Alright, so just proceed. So the walk to the home is about three to five minutes. We're gonna turn right here. The, the walk is uh, a little boring, so I'm going to give you some interesting commentary as I can. So, uh, as you can see, there are many bins along the way. There are a lot of public bins in the human area. And uh, so, when you fill up on your rubbish in your studio, you can actually uh, Take the rubbish and put it in these bins. This is particularly important if you are staying uh, a longer period of time. All right. So up ahead of us, there's also these. You see those orange bikes over here? These are called U bikes. So if you have a Easy Card, which you can purchase from uh, any subway station, any MRT station. You can register that and then you can use these public bicycles. They're very, very convenient. These little U-bike stations are all over Taipei City and you can use them to get around town conveniently, quickly and... So... We will continue forward. So these are the U-Bikes. So if you've got any uh, questions about what to do or what you want to see, uh, just let me know and I can send you some recommendations. There's a lot of things you can do in this nearby area. There's cinemas, there's all sorts of interesting food, famous cuisine, as well as uh, great shopping especially in Shimin area. But the good thing about uh, this location is Shimin is an extremely noisy and bustling area. And so this is a little bit into the quiet zone. So once you're done having fun in Shimin area, you can always head back to your hideout here at the studio, which is very quiet and peaceful. Some other things to note about uh, using Airbnb and uh, having short stays in Taiwan is that short stays are not actually legal uh, and Airbnb as well is not legal in Taiwan and so if anyone asks you questions for example if you bump into a neighbor ask you who are you what are you doing it's important that you never mention Airbnb or that you're a paying guest you could just say that your friend is away and that uh, you're visiting while he's away and he's let you stay here because he is your friend okay so that's important but it's very very unlikely that uh, you'll be asking questions because um, you have your own private entrance and it doesn't actually uh, you don't interact with any of the other neighbors but just as a precaution uh, you know what to do that it's not legal um, so you just have to be aware not to mention that you're a paying guest. Okay? So we're almost there.
only see up ahead this is orange that's a pretty delicious uh, hot pot restaurant Korean uh, when you walk past it you get this beautiful fragrance of the chili hot pot so I do recommend you, you can try it out but it's also a very important landmark so when you see this you know that uh, you have basically reached the studio so once you see this you turn right you see where that car is that black car we're turning left there and then that's basically where our studio is so walk straight we're going to turn left here so we're turning left so this is the part where it's a bit tricky and that's why we have a video once we're here go around the corner and uh, we've basically made it so this is your studio number 105 and this is the lockbox now to use the lockbox you just open it up the code is 1967 the code is different in this video but uh, you pull it open and the keys go in here when you check out put the keys back jump all the numbers up again and close it so this is number 105. Put the key in. Turn it to the right. And you're in. So, welcome.